Want to make your next POTA or SOTA activation easy? Get rid of all those counterpoise wires and get yourself a magic carpet. <laughs> now this isn't your regular rug. This is an RF hero. It is your counterpoise companion. Your portable power up. I'm the rookie and I could be wrong. In fact, there's probably a very good chance I'm wrong. But my understanding is that the magic carpet is effectively a counterpoise, which is perfect for things like elevated radials. I also understand that this works good with rocky or dry ground or even something like a rooftop. In the end, it's more the missing half of your antenna than it is a grounding situation. One thing you're gonna see is when I set this up, I put a ground stick into the ground and then I hook up a connection point and I also have the counterpoise. I'm not sure this is going to be the best scenario for this. And what I'm currently doing is making a 3D printed piece where I've got screw threads on either side, but it's gonna isolate the spike from the counterpoise or the magic carpet. And we'll be doing some testing here in the future. What's the catch? Why isn't everybody using one of these? Well, the edges on this stuff on Faraday fabric can fray pretty easily and it can get pretty annoying. And if you punch a hole through it, that hole can propagate and tear. Like even Josh from Ham Radio Crash Course kind of covered it on one of his videos. I, the only downside is they're they're very, very fragile. You can you can really just go in here and, and mar it. I think I can just mar it with my fingernails. And obviously if you put a hole in it, you kind of want it in the middle, but once you put a hole in it, it just starts to fray internally. Now, sure, you could use some Faraday tape and tape up the edges, but in the end, that adhesive ends up oozing out when it gets too hot, and it will probably fail after about a year or so. Not something that I would want as a solution. Here at VF Comms, we decided that we would go all pro and sew up some edging really nice and neat around the outside edge. We've also got all the Amazon links down below so you can get all the tape that you need and the Faraday fabric and all the kinds of things that you would want for this project so you can go and DIY your own. Let's talk connections and what I've chosen is grommets. We tried sewing buttonholes in this and it didn't quite work all that well. So we've gone on to grommets and getting a professional grommet press to push these in will make for a much cleaner grommet. But yes, you can go and get the hand tappy tap with a hammer version or the plier version and make these yourself. They are the 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter grommet size and they seem to work quite well. For the connections, I've done three on each side, one in the middle, and that gives us some options as to where to attach the antenna. And you can hook it onto one of the quarter sides or through the middle or on the wide side or right in the center. And all of this, I suspect, is gonna change the radiation pattern. With counterpoise, the length of the radial, or especially an elevated counterpoise, can help with tuning your antenna. What well, that brings into question, does size matter? It is the biggest question I think all of us hams have had to debate over the ages. And yeah, it does. Jim over at Jim's Cool Stuff has already tested a bunch of this and he's found that there are diminishing returns after about 24 to 30 square feet of this stuff. And he seems to get a really good SWR. Here we have various areas of uh, aluminum foil laminated in plastic and uh, window screen and Faraday fabric and so forth. Uh, each dot is uh, more area. And as we keep increasing the area, the SWR comes down. And of course, out here, we sort of have diminishing returns. So let's go to the 40 meter data. And again, we see as the area increases, the SWR comes down. If you have to, you can fold it in half and reduce the area to maybe get a better SWR if that's needed maybe even get two, I don't know. We're gonna have to test that out here in the future. We are planning on making and selling these at VF Combs, but we also encourage the DIY culture that is out there. And there's no reason why you can't from the links down below or links that you find on your own to go and get the Faraday fabric and make your own. And I do encourage you to do so because sometimes the fun is in the making and not necessarily in the buying. I get that. Soon, you can get the carbon fiber random stick from 
Velocity Factor Communications. Is that what that stands for? Yes. <laughs> How long have you been working for me? Not long enough, apparently. While he's doing that, do you want to see my cool tan? But here's a question for you. How much would you be willing to pay for a ready-made magic carpet with the grommet holes and the edges all cleaned up so that it's not this messy, frayed thing that you have to fight with? I'm also struggling with a name for this. We can call it the magic carpet. I like to have my own name for things. What do you think we should be calling this? The Faraday Flyer? The Radio Rug? The Static Carpet Ride? I don't know. If you've got a great idea for a name, please leave that down below with the comments as well. That's all I've got for you today. This is Victor Echo 6 here, Foxtrot X-Ray, and I am clearing this channel.